Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Let's talk about reading techniques. There are many ways of reading. One called skim and the other one called scan. Skim means to get the general idea of what the paragraph is talking about. Is it talking about food? Is it talking about literature? Is it talking about movies? Also get the ideas like who was the actor? When was he born? Dates, appointments, time. Okay, this is a general idea of what the paragraph is talking about, but not the details. Like he has been to France, he has been to uh, France doing a lot of business and so on and that and that and that. This is actually called scan, to scan for information. So the first time you read a paragraph, read it quickly with your eyes. And don't stop at a word that you don't understand. Just get a general information. The second time you're looking for information, you're going to read a little bit slowly or slower than the first time to get information and details. We have today's reading uh, The Strange Rise of the Writer's Space by Ivan Hugues, June 8, 2015, on the magazine. An editor I know once told me that on a weekday afternoon, during a period when he was freelancing, he looked out of the window or he looked from the rear window of his Brooklyn apartment and saw a burglary in progress, a la the Hitchcock, Hitchcock film he called the police when two detectives arrived to take a statement one of them asked what were you doing staring out your back window in the middle of the day freelancer myself i told my friend laughing that would be wounded by this remark oh yeah he said i scuttled back to cubicle laughed pretty quickly after that so the main idea actually here is editor freelancing Hitch Cook film, some detectives, police, something happened in the day, they were laughing. This is the general information. The details, you get it when you read it again and again. And the first time, skim, just in general information. The second time, scan for information. The third time, more scanning to look for the words that you could not understand and so on. Look them up in the dictionaries like Oxford.